Hi, I wanted to do a quick uh, impromptu video for you guys today about um, something called bound nature versus our free nature. And our free nature is really um, our true self. When we are at our best, when we are feeling calm and relaxed um, and confident and we're feeling good and we're ready to go. And our bound nature um, is something that's actually derived from our ego voice. So we're all born with an ego voice. It is part of who we are. Um, however, our ego voice um, can sort of kick in and cause a little bit of self-sabotage sometimes. So our ego voice um, often um, comes up when we are not feeling so good. So when we are sad or depressed, um, when we're anxious or frustrated or upset, um, and those ego, that ego voice can sometimes really take over um, in our lives. And the one thing about um, ego voice that I really like actually <laughs> sounds kind of silly um, but I actually like is that um, it is impermanent we know that it's going to come and go it's not going to stay with us forever it is not um, something that is completely um, permanent or long-lasting unless we allow it to be so the main thing about our ego voice is that we want to try to disassociate from it. We want to acknowledge it, we want to know that it's there, um, but we don't want to let ourselves sink into those ego voices um, that play as part of, uh, as part of our day-to-day -day experiences. So, I'm um, sorry, I'm looking at my notes here if you're wondering why I'm looking down. So. Or really, we need to choose not to focus on our ego voice. We need to not give it the power to continue on through our day. So for some of us, um, we may find that we're sort of stuck in a specific ego voice um, for you know a day, two days, even a week sometimes, um, or it can literally come and go in a split second. Um, you know, we can have sort of a snappy ego voice that snaps it um, at our children, at our partners, um, at an employee, something like that. It sort of comes, comes in quickly and then it's gone. Um, but if we don't allow it to take over our, our day, then it really is taking um, that power away from that ego voice. So really thinking about when we are experiencing bound nature thoughts or ego voice thoughts, um, allowing them to be there, to observe them, and then to make that choice to let them go and move on. Right. So thinking about um, whether those thoughts are actually serving you in your day, um, whether they're helping you move forward, usually bound nature thoughts or not, um, but allowing yourself to really sort of um, acknowledge them and then let them go so that we can move on with our day. And it really truly is a choice, right? Um, we can choose to sit in bound nature for um, days, for hours, for weeks, or we can choose to come out of that bound nature, that bound nature voice. So one of the ways to disassociate ourselves with bound nature, um, and this again may sound a little silly, but it really does help and really does work, is actually naming your bound nature voices. Um, so for instance, we could have, um, let me think of one. So let's say we have this one part of ourselves um, that needs to be, and I know I'm, I have this one, um, feeling like I need to be super responsible for everything. So we could call that um, bound nature voice responsibility Rachel, right? Give her a name. And when responsibility Rachel kicks in in my day, um, she literally takes over. She takes over her respons responsibilities for me, um, but from other people around me as well. Things that I don't really need to be responsible for, she thinks she does. She takes over. Um, everything in her world needs to be perfect um, and aligned and organized and, and that is something that um, comes up quite frequently for me. So one of the things that we need to do is when we realize that responsibility Rachel has um, stepped in <laughs> to the play, um, when we're aware of that, then it's much easier to let her go and say, you know what, that isn't actually my responsibility. It's not something that I need to worry about. I don't need to take care of that today. Um, and it's coming off of my list. I don't need to think about it, let it go. Right, um, but it's a lot easier to do that when we can disassociate from the fact that that 
part of my ego voice is not actually me. It is not who I truly, truly am. It is just this little voice that kicks in every once in a while. Um, so it's a little bit easier to let her go. So think about that today, about uh, your bound nature voices and bound nature rules versus your free nature or your true self, and how you can start really disassociating yourself from those ego voices so that you can let them go a little bit sooner and not hold on to them quite as long. If you have questions about this, please post below and we can uh, start a conversation about it. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good day.